Welcome everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight, we'll see the New Orleans Pelicans as they go up against the Los Angeles Lakers. With Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldrich will be reporting from the sideline. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Davis is out there with Howard. And it's Rondo in at the point guard. And for the Pelicans, Ball and Holiday combine at the guard spots. Zion is the four with Favors at the five. And it's Ingram in at the small forward. Tip-off goes to New Orleans. I would. I think that'd be a great idea. And Davis sends it back. Here's James. Oh, oh the power on that throwdown. Nothing out of the ordinary there for LeBron. I mean, insane athleticism. Ball finds Ingram. Back to ball. It's stolen by Rondo. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Well, Frank Vogel had a few minutes to share with me. We talked about how he's going to try and disrupt Brandon Ingram. Coach said he's too tall to block. He's like KD in that sense. But we have to get a hand up to at least bother his shot from outside. So Kevin will try to limit his clean looks. Of course, that brings in his in-between game. Back to you. All right, David, thanks. And here is Howard following Lonzo Ball's three. Howard, the pass to James. And the dunk by James. And, you know, I think this is exactly what you want Howard to do. I mean, when somebody's open, show that you're willing to give the ball up. Ball, the bounce pass. Here's Ingram. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That one on Davis. Boy, I like how quickly he threw the bounce pass there. Hard to defend against that. Pelican shooting their first free throw of the evening. Here's Ball after Rajon Rondo's bucket. Ball kicks to Holland. Inside, Williamson. Oh, what a beautiful point. What intensity. Did you see that? Great. This is what many fans came here to see. Williamson and his size, with his speed, so unique in his style, his grace. It's unbelievable. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Drew Holiday. The Lakers also making some changes. JaVale McGee comes in for Dwight Howard. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Rajon Rondo. So much pressure on Williamson to be a legend out of the gate. He has Hall of Fame tools, but you have to give him time to refine it. Yep, it counts. Kuzma's got his third basket of the night. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Now here's Ingram. He had 28 points in the win against Cleveland. So many of his points came at the line. The Demons trying to play him physically. He just said, yeah, bring it up. Here's Caruso. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. And the dunk by Chain. Oh, powerful presence on the court. It's hard to match James' strength inside. Outside, ball. The pass to Reddit. And stolen by LeBron. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. James with the ball, and Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Oh, you gotta love the intelligence of James. He understands the game like few others. I mean, spots the open man with ease. As to Williamson. Reddick against Caldwell Pope. Reddick passes to Ingram. Just five on the clock. Here's Hayes. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. 
Derek Favors checked in for Zion Williamson. And Hart subbed in for Ingram. Davis has checked in for the Lakers. 1.35 left to play here in the second quarter. LeBron outside. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And the slam dunk by McGee. And you see why McGee's teammates lob it up his way because they... And it's Alex Caruso in for Danny Green. And Davis sends it back. Just a wonderful effort from Davis on the defense. Oh, oh, too much. Too much. Too much. Yeah, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim. That time on display. Ball kicks to Okafer. Dishes it to Reddit. Caruso grabs the miss. Caruso's got four rebounds now tonight. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Now here's Davis. He's got 18. And that one's good, Caruso. Caruso's got his second basket of the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Ingram outside. The pass to Hayes. Let's a floater go. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got three assists tonight. James looking around. Yep, it counts. LeBron's got 28 points for the game. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Ball, the pass to Ingram. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Well, how about LeBron reading the defense, waiting and being patient there? LeBron is doubled, and the wide-open shot from Green. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Green's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. The Pelican shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? Here's Ingram and slam dunk by Ingram. All right now, Brandon Ingram. That process about as enjoyable as one could ask for, but at the same time, oh, oh that was super oh. This is what many fans came here to see. Bruce and his size, with his speed, so unique in his style, his grace. It's unbelievable. Rondo bounce pass. Here's LeBron, and the Lakers tack on two more. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Green against Redick. Trey buries the long-range jumper. Reddick's got 22 points. And pressure doesn't get to Reddick. In fact, he seems to embrace hitting difficult shots. James against Ingram. James in the post. Rejected by Ingram. To the inside. Williamson, the pass to Reddick. One ten left to play in the final quarter. Drills it from outside. Well, that's just the veteran leadership of Reddick. When you need a bucket, he wants to be the one taking the shot. Williamson against James. Steps back and fires. Again, the Lakers. And that's just cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, that's just the mentality you have to have. Time Not wanting to give the opposition any hope of flowing back into this. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Alvin Gentry said to his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said, there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment, and let's take back this game. Let's see what they can do, Kevin. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. 
And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Off the inbound. It's good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Ingram, very self-assured, putting it on the line. And an intentional foul right there. Bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but but no need to rush it. Play smart. Howard can't hit. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. And now we've got the intentional foul. the first one and that increases their lead to six well the goat watch continues every year every accomplishment goes into the analysis I mean the Brown will probably never be able to escape jumping on the chance to up their lead at the line now a timeout called by New Orleans James is just a sensational shot blocker you better check your rear view mirror he's relentless and, and his presence as a scorer it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. And so the Lakers take the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony, a great team victory. What was most satisfying to you about the win tonight? Oh, we just played hard. You know, we just played for each other. The ball was moving, it wasn't sticking, and, you know, God made the right plays. You know, and that's what we've been doing all night, all season, and you know, I'm just glad we came out with the win. Well, it was a great win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Hey, hey, say fuck all the bullshit. I just want the millions. Hey, hey. I get the bag and I gotta flip it. Show the all on me, I tell her she tripping. I get the top, you know that I'm dipping. Fuck all the bullshit. I just want the millions. Hey, hey. Say fuck all the bullshit.